Okay, this is a video on how to play Minecraft part one. And I'm gonna show you how to make worlds. And you probably already know how to do that. What you wanna do is press, press play. And then do create new. So then you see these three tabs, go to worlds to create new. If you have like templates and that stuff, or um, realms, they show up here. But if you wanna make your own world, just do create new world. You can name your world anything. I meant to put, um, second there you can set it to survival or creative in this video i'm going to show you how to do creative turn off achievements achievements are you get gamer points for it which are just way to um if you want to like see how much achievements you've done you can i don't think they really do that much so for creative, you just do continue. You can set it to peaceful, which is no mobs. Easy, a little bit. Normal, um, just the normal amount of mobs and hard, like a lot of skeletons and zombies and all that stuff. I'm gonna do easy. And then the world preferences are a starting map. It just shows you a map that um, you can have if you're venturing around to see where you've gone. And the bonus chest, I'll get that too. But that's more for survival, these two things. These you can just instantly get those in creative. These are when people join your world. Um, they will turn into a visitor, which can't do anything. A member, they can um do all the normal stuff or an operator, which can use cheats and commands. This um is the infinite. It's like all the normal terrain. Flat is a completely flat, and old is just I don't really know. I'm pretty sure it's just a different type of infinite. These are seeds. You can type in any numbers you want. Like, you can just do that. But then it gives you selected seeds. Like all these. I'll do, for this video, the Mesa Plateau. And then here's the um, this simulation distance. You don't really have to worry about that. The world options, friendly fires, you can hit people, so yes. Show coordinates, I'll do. Fire spreads, yes. TNT explodes. Mob loot. Natural regeneration, which is like trees growing. Tiles, tile drops, like breaking wood would give you the wood. Immediate respawn is, I'm pretty sure you don't have the you died screen. Respawn radius, I don't really know what that does. Use experimental gameplay is for... Um, when there's a new update coming out, you can put it on and, like, see what the new update will be, like, the snapshots. And activate cheats, um, I'll do, yeah, always day, that means it never turns night, and if you turn off do daylight cycle and this, it turns off that for you, because if it's always day, there can't be a daylight cycle. Education edition, I haven't done it, but I'll, um, do another video about that. Keep inventory is when you die, you keep your stuff. Mob spawning is mob spawning. Mob griefing, I'm pretty sure is mobs breaking things. Entities drop loot, which is if you, um, like let's say you sheared a sheep, it would give you the wool. And if you didn't have that on, it wouldn't. Weather cycle is it will rain, I'll put off because I don't really like when it rains in my worlds. Command blocks enabled, which are, I'll show you what to do with command blocks. And then random tick speed, I have no clue what that does. And you have multiplier, so I'll do yes. And then friends of friends. Resource packs, you don't have those when you start Minecraft. The create realms thing, you don't really need to do that because you can just do create. And then you have to wait for the world to create. And it, sh show, and it um, shows you some tips on these loading screens. And you can read them if you want, which I normally do. 
I'm gonna cover most redstone in this video because, um, actually I'll just do creative. The um, basic of creative. In commands. My next video will be um, about redstone and then survival. And I'll do commands in actually a different video. Because that's kind of a big part of the game. Okay. Um, so, since it was a multiplier game, my friends could come in, and they came in, and, okay, so, this is what the starter chest does, it's more for survival, but you just get normal, like, loot for somebody that was just starting, and then this, you can do create map, and it shows you, but since this is a flat world, and it's creative, it doesn't really help, okay, so you have five tabs, when you, so, the first thing you're gonna want to do, you see these three tabs on the top of your screen. Oh, and show coordinates, put this position, and that stuff. And I'll actually show you how to walk first. So, you probably know how to if you've played Minecraft, but um, you use these if you're on mobile, and then this middle button is crouching, and then this button over here is jumping. And you can, in creative, if you double jump, you can fly, and you can use these up and down buttons to go up and down, and to unfly, you just double tap. Okay, now I'll show you what to do with the three taps. This um, pause tab shows you um, resume game settings, feedback, and save and quit. The feedback, you don't need to do that. Settings is the thing that I just did to make the world, so I'm not going to change that stuff. Save and quit gets you out. The oh, it's still in the settings. The profile, um, you can, um, so these are my characters. You can make characters, like I can do edit character, and then I can do emotes. Emotes are new, and you can, you have six emotes, and you can select them and then do them in game. And then there's capes. And then you can even customize your own character. And it's pretty cool. And then the second thing in this place is this, the settings, which, yeah. And then there's the, the trash game button, which is deleting the character. And then achievements. See, there's the gamer points for achievements. Then it can also give you stuff. And then these are just the feature Items you might want to buy with mine coins, which are the currency in Minecraft. And you can buy them for real money. So I'll use my normal character. And then I can invite people, but all my friends are already in the world. So then I can change their permission level. So right now I'll change, um, okay. Guys, stop. Stop doing whatever you... Okay, just stand there. Cool. I'm a... Squid dude, stand there. Okay. So, right now, do you have any blocks? Here's some. Okay, so place them down. You can see that you're, he's placing stuff down. And then now, if I, if I change him to visitor, try to place stuff down, he can't do it. And then if I change him to operator, he can do all that stuff, but he can just do commands too. And then custom, I can change whatever I want. But I'm gonna, um, for the sake of the video, put him on member. That's the pause button. And then, 
Okay, then there's the second one, which is the chat, which this um, button right here is commands. If you're the operator, you can teleport who? Um, me to there. And then I'm teleported to him. And then set world spawn. I can just set when people come into the world right there. And then time, which it's always day, so it doesn't matter. And weather, um, it's like always there's no weather cycle but i can still set it if I want. okay then there's this which is chat but you don't have to worry about it because there's no point of doing it and then there's the settings which if you're gonna chat um you can do new all chat so you can't see anybody's chat and then you can do text to speech which you wouldn't want to do both of these unless if you're on a server and you don't want random people talking to you just do mute all chat you can do different fonts. I'll do Mojangles, which is normal. So if I say, just I'll just do a letter, it's that. And then if I wanna change it to that one, it shows it different. It's like that font. Um, Mojangles is probably the best one. And then you can't do um, the size, but with the other font, you can like change it bigger. And then if you wanna, I'm pretty sure, do like letters apart from each other, you can. You can do chat color, um, whatever color you want. Aqua, mentions color, red. And that's pretty much that. And then this is, this button is also a way to just get in chat. So if I say, like, I'll just say, Hi. And if I press this send button, it'll put it in the chat. And then I can, they can see what I'm saying. So if they say something, then I can see what they say. He said, hey, hello. Yo. <laughs> okay. And then you can also do commands, which are, I'll do a different video about that. But it's so you, you can get into them by doing holding down on B and then doing that, or you can just go into a one, two, three, which is the numbers, press that, and then it gives you uh, stuff like commands that you can do. And then the last button is emotes. The last button is emotes. So you can see, okay, I'll turn it. Oh wait, I forgot to go over something. So these are the controls. Um, you don't really, that, I wouldn't change these, but if you want to, you can. Controller and touch, I'm doing on touch, um, which is mobile, and I, just don't change those. Profile, I don't, you don't really need to change that. Okay, so this is stuff you might wanna change. You can do first person, or third person back, or third person front. I'll do from the front so you can see what emotes. Then subscriptions, I don't know what that is. Audio, you can just hear like the Minecraft music. And then the global resource packs. Okay, now you can see me, and I'll show you the emotes. It just shows your character doing that stuff that you choose, and you can get emotes they're, um, uh, you can either get them from doing achievements and survival, or you can go in here and you can do emotes, and then you can get them from mine coins. Um, I'll select a new emote. This one, diamonds to you, and you get that by giving another player a diamond in survival okay so now that i'm done talking about that i'll show you what these other buttons are so this thing down below is your hot bar it's where all your um where you should put all your resources and stuff that you normally use i have to change it back to um first person so i can actually do the rest of this tutorial
Okay, there. This is your hotbar, and then you placing stuff. You just press. Breaking stuff, you press and hold until it breaks. And you can individually do it or do this. And you can place like this. And then if you just tap on like an animal or mob, with anything, it does damage to it. And then it eventually will um, die. And then you can get its drops, which the pig will drop, like animals will drop food. Um, cows will drop leather. And yeah, so then you have this button next to your hotbar with the three, um, thing, three different. Um, okay, so these are where it actually. This is where actually creative comes in, and you can. So this. So first, I'll show these. This is crafting, which you don't need to do in creative, because you have everything. This is your armor. So like, let's say if I wanted to get all netherite which is the best armor and then a shield i can just do that straight from my inventory so yeah that's pretty much what the armor thing does the crafting thing if you want to you can just like it's harder to do on mobile but you can make blocks but you don't really need to do that in creative and this just expands you can if you want to see like that Okay, this is the construction tab. It shows you all the blocks that you can use for building stuff. So there's um wood, fences, like in walls, doors, just some blocks. There's blocks of ores, gold, netherite, diamonds. And then there's the slime block, honeycomb block, carpets, wool, concrete, pa concrete powder, terracotta, purple block, quartz, chain glass stairs there's a bunch of different stuff slabs and then you have your equipment tab and that's where you get your armor so what you're going to want to do if stuff are a plus you're just going to click on it and it comes with all different stuff like so i can if i wanted to do chain i could do chain netherite and then i can just select that and you can undo the plus by just tapping it again so i'll get a sword and then an axe a pickaxe, a shovel, and a hoe for, for farming. I'll show you what all these things do. A bow, a crossbow, arrows, you need those to control them, but in creative you don't. A shield, which just blocks your thing if you sneak or crouch. Food, which you don't need in creative. Um, more oats, but that doesn't really matter. And then you have fishing a fishing rod. This controls a pig carried on the stick. This controls a strider, which is in the nether. And snowballs. Okay, I'll just show you what these tools do. So first, a sword um, does more damage to stuff. An axe, if I was in survival, would be able to break woods faster. A pickaxe would break stones. Um, a shovel would break dirt faster. And this, which is a hoe, it would farm. Like, um, this. Um, he's on a spider. Okay, now, but eventually, the place you hold will, will get saw, like, will run out, and what you have to do is you have to put water near it. And then it will, um, uh, keep it, um, from not drying up. Then it might get darker. Okay, now with bows. With bows, you have to hold down. And if you keep holding down, it can aim it more and it does more damage. This does more than a diamond sword and a netherite, I'm pretty sure. Um, the full charge bow. I'll shoot that strider back there. And then you can do it back like that. You can do it midway. And a crossbow, what you're going to want to do. You're, wanna, you're gonna want to pull back when you have it. And then you just... Um, hold down, and you aim your, um, trigger thing, and then the map, you can just see where people are. Okay, now with the shield. Here, here's a bow. Shoot me with it. A bow behind you. Right there. Shoot me with a lot. It'll get 
it reflected for my shield and survival um it might bounce back and but that will um break my shield so what I, in creative they can't break but in survival they can and then snowballs these like will push stuff farther back even players but since we're in creative so i'm pushing that chicken back these don't do any damage and then shears they break leaves flint and steel um lights fire leads will do this if i leash this chicken by holding down on it or pressing this leash button I can unleash it if I want, but then wherever I go, it'll go with me. So I can bring the chicken along with me. And then this, um, since it's always day, it doesn't matter, but it can tell you what time it is. This shows you where you spawn. Empty map is that thing. Empty locator map. Locator maps are the same thing as maps. They just can show you where the players are. Saddles, you can put them on animals. Um, horse armor for horses. Tridents are pretty much swords and arrows. Because they do, um... Oh, yeah, and fishing rods. You can just do fish, and it'll... Either, um, in the water, it'll catch a fish if you wait till bubbles are near your fishing rod. Or it, you can, like, pull somebody. But then this, if you die in survival, it will save you. Okay. Stop fishing me okay so now i have this it won't really help i can just get water from it which i i don't even know if you can do it in but this gives me xp which you don't have a xp bar in creative and then you have potions um the ones that you can just drink they all do different buffs like um, jump boost gives you jump. Actually, leaping. Um, healing, like, gives you more health. Poison takes away your health. A turtle master gives you slowness and resistance. Okay. These are splash potions. You can throw them on stuff. And, the, I accident. And then these are lingering potions, which you can throw them. And it will, like, keep on the ground. Okay, now to the third tab, items. And actually, um, before I go on to that, I want to show that um, in creative, you're, you can actually, um, let, let's say you wanted to go to survival in creative, but you, um, you and you don't know how to do commands. So you have all your stuff that you want to just set up for a survival gameplay, but in a creative world. So I'll just put something in here. Oh, and to get in chests or shulkers. Um, that's in the next tab, but um, I won't show you. So what you're going to do is in settings. and go in settings. You can change the default to survival, so I'm in survival. Adventure, which is you can't really do that much. Unless um, of the game rules. And then personal, um, it's default, which is creative. Just to make sure I'm recording, which I am. Um, I might have to stop the video soon and maybe do a part two of creative and how stuff works. But from, for now, I think, so this is, this is your inventory. Um, this chest button. And this is the search thing. I can search up, um, book. Then every, all the book, stuff with book and their name come up. And then, this is the con items tab. It has beds, which you sleep in at night. Torches, um, uh, emit light. Sea pickles, which are, um, uh, emit light in the water. Lanterns emit light. This will help you craft and survival. This will make a map. I, I don't think this does anything. This converts diamonds into netherite stuff. Um, bee, beehives, keep um, bees in them. Campfires, um, you can cook food on them. Furnaces, you put, um, you smelt in them. These smelt ores. Um, smokers, smelt food. Respawn anchors, respawn you in the nether. Um, this can brew potions. 
the anvil um you can rename and enchant stuff on grindstone um takes away all the enchantments on something enchantment table will enchant things books you can um surround them you can put them around enchantment tables you can put um books in lecterns like if i wanted to do i don't know if this works because yeah it's not has to be um a different type of cauldron you can put water in it um composter you can put like crops and farm stuff there's chests a chest you can open normally by just clicking on it trap chest and you um i don't think only you can open it ender chest everyone can open it but it's all the, the only stuff that you put in it barrel it's just a different it's a cooler texture this um a shulker box if i do this um if i put my map in it or my arrows i'll break it and the arrows will still be in there Armor stains, you can put armor and swords and, uh, and poses. Stop shooting me. And then the note block, the jukebox. You can do um, note block, jukebox. You can play music from the music discs. And then there's glowstone dust, which makes glowstone, which emits light. This emits light when redstone's by. This emits light in the water. Signs you can write on them. And then pictures. Um, item frames, you can put items in them. Honey bottles, uh, I think they make honeycomb blocks or something. Flower pot, you put flowers. You put, um, you can make different stews with bowls. You can pick up water, um, lava with a bucket, and or you can milk a cow with it. And then these are different fish and buckets that I think you can get from wandering traders. You can get heads. I don't know how you get them, but you can get this from the um, ender ship and the um, end. And then this is a beacon, which you get from killing the wither with you can make it with the nether star, which you get from killing the wither. This bell emits noise, like, at villages. A uh, cocodile makes you swim faster and um, makes you have more, um, makes you have infinite breath in the water in survival. Stone cutter makes you be able to, um, craft stuff with stone better. End portal makes you make a end portal. Well, this is an end portal frame. And then coal, you smelt with it. Charcoal, you can smelt with it. Diamonds is an ore. You make iron nuggets with iron. Netherite scrap is something that you get from smelting ancient debris, which is in the nether and it's the rare store. You can make um, a netherite ingot with four ancient debris and three gold. Then you can make a gold nugget with gold. Emeralds, which you can get from mining or villager trades. Nether quartz, which you get from the quartz ore in the nether. Clay, which you can just get from ponds and lakes. And then if you smelt that, you get brick. And then I don't know how you get nether brick. Prismarine shards and um, prismarine crystals are from the, um, uh, what is it called? The underwater, um, temple place, I don't remember. The nautilus shell you can get from drowns. You can get this from treasure, um, the treasure chests from sunken ships. And then this scoot, you can get it from brooding turtles. Phantom membrane is killing phantom, which come if you haven't slept in three days in your world. String is, um, you get it from spiders. Feather you get from chickens. Flint, gravel, gunpowder, creepers, cows, um, bunnies, bunnies. You can make that with nether resources. You can get this from blazes, blazes, magma cubes. You can make this with the different mob drops. Um, I'm pretty sure the ender dragon, shulkers, ghasts, slimes, endermans, craft that with a um, ender pearl and a blaze powder. Nether star, wither, end rod, you can, you just get it from the end. You get that from the end. Uh, you get this from sugar cane. You make that with sugar cane leather. Then I don't know how you make that. And then you can enchant books and to make those boats you have to make. All this stuff, you just kind of make it with resources. And then once it goes down to here, it shows redstone and all this stuff is redstone stuff. But I'll show in a different video.
for the last tab, nature. This is stuff that you'll naturally find in your world. These are all the redstone, um, I mean the nether stuff, like the red leaves and the, all that stuff, and the wart blocks. Nether wart blocked and wart, wart block, and then there's just nether wood and all that stuff, and then there's the shroom light, it emits light, and then there's this nacile, nylum, and then there's basalt, which you can get from the nether, soul soil, which doesn't slow you down. Dirt is, um, these are all the different types of dirt. These are ores. Um, here's ancient debris. And then here's stone, gravel, um, different types of like granites and that sand, red sand, cactuses, which are in the desert. Wood you get from trees. Uh, you make this with wood. I don't know why you would want to make it, maybe for a building. Leaves you can get from different leaves in different biomes. These are all the all all the different trees. These are the bee nests which you can find on trees, seeds, wheat which and some food that you can just get naturally. Pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, which you can make with pumpkins and a torch. Um, these are just, these are corals. These are um, bushes, pretty much. These are flowers. These are dyes. Um, ink sap, which you get from squids. You get these. Um, you get this from Silk Touch, which is an enchantment on vines. These from the nether. Um, this from bamboo. Um, or that's an ore, and you get this from crafting up bones, and then you get this from the swamp, that from the desert, all this this from the tundra, um, and then uncooked food, which you get from animals, and then there's all these mushrooms, eggs, which you get from chickens, and they do the same thing as snowball, but you can sometimes summon an egg, and then this is sugar cane, this is sugar, you get rotten flesh from zombies, bones from, um, you get this from bones from skeletons, this from spiders, I think. Spiders, uh, no, you get this from crafting up string or maybe silk touch, touch on the cobwebs. And then you get this from silk touch on monster spawners. And then you get, these are all the different types of stone. There's dragon egg, which comes from the um, ender dragon. Turtle eggs, mob spawners, which spawn any mob. And... Obsidian, which you get from um, lava touching water. Crying obsidian, which you get from a structure in the nether called a bastion. Um, it's like a, it's kind of like a fallen, sunken, um, like nether fortress base. I don't know why it's called that. Um, but I don't know why it's like that in it. But it's pretty cool, and you get this from it. And then bedrock, you can you can't get in survival. Soul sand, um, you get from the Nether, 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 end, 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 end. Um, sponges, I don't. You get them from the. Then here's all the coral blocks, and you get can get these from wandering traders and that stuff. Okay, there is actually a way to break bedrock, but you need Ender Dragon eggs. Um, and you put a torch under that. I, I don't really know how to do it, though. Okay, so these spawn eggs will spawn mobs. Like that. You can spawn it. That's it. For, wait, actually, um, I'm going to show you how to, um, what iron frames do, because I was going to do it. Oh, yeah, and enchanting. I still need to show that. And then that should be it for this tutorial. I kind of had to go fast in the end because um it it, it can't be like really long sadly because um it's gonna take a long time to upload so what you're gonna want to do you just put it around three layers up and then you can get the level 30 enchantments which are the highest ones and then if i have something that's unenchanted and put it in here with lapis and survival. Then I can enchant it with my levels, which are you get from XP. And then I have something enchanted. You can enchant books to get um them enchanted. And then okay, wait. I'll get um a book and feather falling and boots. And then on the anvil. So wait, first I have to take off. 
Where did those go? Okay. And then I can um make it feather falling, and then I can name it. you enjoy and that is the end of my creative tutorial oh and the position is just where you're standing if you're um if you need more help or something um that the other tutorials that are um that i'm gonna make might cover that so just be alert from when i for when i make those bye